In 1940, during the German attack on the Netherlands, a Douglas DC-3 of the Dutch national airline KLM landed in London carrying important Dutch government documents that had to be kept out of Nazi hands. The pilot himself wasn't Dutch, he was Swedish, Count Carl Gustav von Rosen. Shortly afterwards, Count von Rosen presented himself to a Royal Air Force recruitment board and requested to join the British Air Force as a pilot. Britain was short of pilots, especially well-trained ones, in the lead-up to the Battle of Britain, and pilots of von Rosen's caliber, who had already seen action in two wars, were thin on the ground. But surprisingly, the British turned him down. Why? Because Count von Rosen was the nephew by marriage of the RAF's greatest nemesis, Hermann Göring, commander of the German Air Force. So instead of becoming an RAF officer, von Rosen accepted employment as a pilot for Swedish airline AB Aerotransport until the end of the war. But it was to be a brief hiatus between conflicts for the flamboyant count, and throughout his life he was a mercenary in both Europe and Africa. Born in 1909 in Sweden, his father was famous explorer Count Erik von Rosen, who was also a Swedish Nazi. His mother, Baroness Mary Fock, had a sister called Karin, who would marry Hermann Göring in 1923. Göring, of course, was a dashing World War I fighter ace, who would also work in Sweden as a pilot post-World War I, and his uncle's aviation history undoubtedly influenced the young Count von Rosen to pursue a career as a pilot. However, von Rosen did not share either his uncle's or his father's interests in National Socialism. In fact, quite the opposite. In 1934, soon after gaining his pilot's license, he began work as a stunt pilot in a travelling circus. But Africa was calling, and in 1935 he volunteered to fly for the Swedish Red Cross during the war in Ethiopia, where Benito Mussolini was trying to turn the country into an Italian colony. Count von Rosen soon gained a reputation as a daredevil flyer, taking his plane into battlefields to fly out wounded Ethiopian troops. The Italians used several very unpleasant weapons during the war, including a lot of mustard gas to try and crush Ethiopian resistance, and von Rosen was exposed to this gas several times, resulting in some chemical burns. Ethiopia decorated von Rosen with its Red Cross gold medal and the Order of the Ethiopian Star. With the defeat of Ethiopia, von Rosen joined KLM as an airline pilot. When he witnessed what was happening in Finland, adjacent to his homeland of Sweden, he felt compelled to act. The Soviets had attacked Finland in 1939, triggering a conflict known as the Winter War. And von Rosen joined the Finnish Air Force as a bomber pilot. In fact, he went one further. Being wealthy, he purchased a Douglas DC-2 aircraft and had it converted into a bomber and painted in the blue swastika emblem of the Finnish Air Force, piloting this plane against the Soviets on raids in March 1940. His adventures during the Winter War gained him the Order of the Cross of Liberty with Swords 3rd Class and the Finnish War Memorial Medal with Swords and Bar. Following his service in the Winter War and more flying for KLM, as mentioned, his family relationship with Hermann Göring had meant that the RAF turned him down in 1940. However, at war's end in 1945, he returned to Ethiopia to help Emperor Haile Selassie create and train a post-war Imperial Ethiopian Air Force, becoming its chief instructor. He would work in Ethiopia from 1945 to 1956, as the Imperial Air Force gained Safir 91 trainers and B-17A light bombers from Sweden, and C-47 sky trains from the United States to equip its bomber and transport squadrons. In 1951, the Imperial Ethiopian Air Force created its first fighter attack squadron, equipped with fairy firefly fighters from the United Kingdom. Count von Rosen's invaluable work in Ethiopia resulted in his being appointed a commander of the Order of Emperor Menelik II. 
In 1960, Count von Rosen next turned up in the Congo, on the other side of Africa, during the crisis there, flying transports for the Swedish airline Transair on behalf of the United Nations. He was also the personal pilot for the Secretary General of the UN, Dag Hammarskoy, during the Congo crisis, but was not on duty the day that Hammarskoy was killed in a plane crash. Von Rosen was made a Knight of the Royal Order of the Vasa in Sweden. From the Congo, Count von Rosen went next to Biafra as a mercenary pilot. Biafra had broken away from newly independent Nigeria, triggering a very nasty war in the region. Von Rosen was appalled by the treatment of Biafrans by Nigeria. The Nigerian Air Force was very active, interfering with the delivery of aid to Biafra by air. The Count decided that the way to solve the issue was to attack the Nigerian Air Force airfields, which their aircraft were using during the Biafra War. Working in concert with the French Secret Service, von Rosen managed to import five civilian MFI-9 planes manufactured by Saab. He had them camouflaged and fitted with 68mm SNEB rockets, making excellent ground attack planes. With two Swedish pilots and two Biafrans, von Rosen created a squadron he called Biafra Babies and started planning for an assault on several Nigerian airfields. The operation commenced on the 22nd of May 1969, when von Rosen and the Biafra babies shot up several airfields, destroying a number of valuable Nigerian planes on the ground. The tally included several MiG-17 fighters and three Ilyushin IL-28 bombers. Von Rosen also modified his MFI-9 planes to drop food supplies to starving Biafran civilians. The Count next popped up in Ethiopia in 1974, following the communist coup that overthrew Emperor Haile Selassie. A famine had broken out, and up to 1977, von Rosen worked tirelessly flying in food aid to the country that he had come to love. Sadly, he would die in Ethiopia on the 13th of July 1977. He had flown into the city of Gode in Ethiopia with relief supplies when war broke out with Somalia, and he was caught on the ground and killed by Somalian soldiers. Count Karl Gustav von Rosen is today buried in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.